UK's approval of arms export licenses to Israel dropped sharply after the start of the war in Gaza, with the value of permits granted for the sale of military equipment to its ally falling by more than 95% to a 13-year low. The figures, which have not previously been reported, are based on information provided by government officials to Reuters and data from the Department for Business and Trade's Export Control Unit. The United States and Germany both increased arms sales to Israel after the start of the war with Hamas. However, the value of British-approved licenses between October 7 and December 31 last year dropped to £859. 381.147 million Singapore dollars, government officials told Reuters. That is the lowest figure for the period between October 7 and December 31 since 2010. This compares with the government approving £20 million of arms sales to Israel for the same period in 2022, including small arms ammunition and components for combat aircraft, according to government data. In the same period, in 2017, the government approved £185 million in arms sales to Israel, including components for tanks and surface-to-air missiles, the data shows the highest figure for the period in publicly available data going back to 2008. Unlike the US, UK's government does not give arms directly to Israel but rather issues licenses for companies to sell weapons. With input from lawyers on whether they comply with international law, many of the licenses approved in the period after the start of the war in Gaza were for items listed for commercial use or non-lethal items such as body armor, military helmets, or all-wheel drive vehicles with ballistic protection. Reuters could not establish if the fall in the value of approved licenses for Israel was because of a decision by Britain to restrict the sale of certain items, or because there was a drop in demand from Israel. The Department for Business and Trade which is responsible for approving the export licenses, and the Foreign Office declined to comment. Israel's embassy in London did not respond to a request for comment. Israel's conflict in Gaza was triggered when Hamas fighters charged into Israel on October 7 and killed someone. 200 people, according to Israeli tallies. Israel's subsequent bombardment and invasion of Gaza has killed more than 37,000 Palestinians, according to health authorities, in the Hamas-run enclave. Members of Britain's parliament and human rights groups have criticised the government for the lack of public information about arms sales to Israel since the start of the conflict. Some countries such as Italy, Canada and the Netherlands have imposed restrictions on arms exports to Israel because of concerns about how the weapons could be used. While Germany approved arms exports to Israel worth 326 million euros 473 million Singapore dollars last year. Ten times more than in 2022, the volume of approvals fell to around 10 million euros in the first quarter of this year. British Prime Minister Rishi Sanek has been one of Europe's strongest advocates of Israel's right to respond with overwhelming force against Hamas. He has resisted calls to halt arms transfers to Israel but has said the government adheres to a very careful licensing regime. Britain is expected to provide information about arms sales to Israel in the first half of this year in the coming months. The government has in the past blocked arms sales to Israel, such as in 2009 when it revoked some licenses and in 1982, when there was a formal restriction after the invasion of Lebanon.